Wow, wow, wow. All right, let's take a look at your lows for tonight because obviously a lot of people are a little concerned of how cold it's going to be out there. 49 degrees is what we're expecting in Brownsville, 48 in Olmito, 47 in Harlingen, and 44 in Sebastian. Look what happens when we get up towards Willis County, though. We're looking at about 43 as a possibility in Lyford, 42 out towards Raymondville. Let's get out towards Hidalgo County. We're going to start off at 46 in Mercedes to 47 uh, in McAllen in Mission, 45 degrees in La Jolla, 41 tonight out towards San Manuel Lynn and you get out towards Stark County. Got some bad news. Look at that. 39 degrees is a possibility for Roma and Falcon Lake with 38 in San Isidro. So uh, yeah, much, much cooler in some of those other spots tomorrow. It's not going to be too much of a warm day whatsoever. We're going to start off cold. <clears throat> excuse me, make our way up to the 60s and 62 degrees low tide at around 246 p.m. High tide at 649 p.m. That's why I shouldn't be drinking water right before I go on air tomorrow. Expecting for temperatures to go back up into the mid 60s out there and 66 in Brownsville to 67 in Harlingen and McAllen and 69 in Rio Grande City. Now we are looking at the chance of rain for Saturday and Sunday, but that front that was supposed to come through not looking like it's actually going to make its way on through. In fact, uh, the only reason we're getting rain is because we're getting moisture flow right back in from the south. You'll notice even as we let the clock go out to about 6 a.m. on Friday, you're noticing some of that moisture starting to flow right back into the area. And that's pretty much from San Antonio to Houston down, which gives us a chance of seeing some rain as we get out towards uh, Saturday into Sunday. That's what we're giving it about a 20% chance on both of those days. Kind of sticks around towards late at night, Sunday night. Let's see if it feeds into Monday. But overall, with that front not making its way all the way down, we're looking at that low. Here comes all that moisture I was talking about just kind of moving in from the south. Look what happens though as we get on throughout the day. Here comes that front, but it becomes a stationary front just north of us. Now the model's saying it might pass us and then go right back up. So, uh, you know, uh, any cool air that we see is going to be extremely relatively short lived out there. As we look at your seven day forecast, notice I went ahead and removed any chance of us seeing fifties uh, or forties again, Monday morning or Tuesday morning, because it just doesn't look like it's going to happen. All the models saying that front not going to push through. And this happens all the time when we have these uh, shallow air masses that try really hard to make their way in. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. At least we'll get a bit of rain for Saturday and Sunday. We'll deal with forties tonight and Friday morning as well.